On the banks of the Murray River, you'll find Rutherglen, one of the toughest old towns in Victoria. It's fortified wines that first helped put Rutherglen on the map. But everybody here accepts the fact that if Rutherglen is going to stay as one of Australia's top wine growing regions, it's the wines that they put on our tables that are going to help them do it. Rutherglen is three hours drive northeast of Melbourne. Originally established as a gold rush township in the 1850s, it's got that old world feel as well as some seriously old fortified wines. The process of fortification by adding spirit to fermenting wine produces deliciously sweet results. Rutherglen has musket and tokay more than 100 years old. But I'm keen to learn about the region's table wines too, so let's meet one of the best young winemakers in Australia at Pfeiffer Wines. The winery is perched above the tranquil Sunday Creek, a branch of the Murray River. Jen is the latest member of the Pfeiffer clan to be making their wine. You're so lucky to have this, uh, you know, adjoining your property. That's right, it's a beautiful setting. It's, I think, one of the prettiest places in Australia to make wine. Chris Pfeiffer established the business in 1984, and for his daughter Jen, growing up in a winery was just a way of life. You know, growing up in a vineyard and a winery, it's a great place to explore. So, you know, you're running around, pruning vines at a young, young age, running amongst the barrels, and you, you're just absorbing the, the whole culture and, and the whole way of life that, that is wine. Jen completed a science law degree at Melbourne Uni, and upon her return was put to work in the winery. You must have actually picked up quite a lot about it because your dad let you make the Shiraz. <laughs> I think he prefers Cabernet to Shiraz, so maybe that was why he gave me the Shiraz. Uh, but dad, you know, I guess realised that, that I, I was doing a good job and, and thought that it was a good way to encourage me to, to, to improve, or improve my, my ability by giving me a bit of responsibility. And Did it taste OK or not? It, it, taste, it tasted good. It had some nice peppery character and uh, some wine show judges liked it, gave it a gold medal, so it must have been OK. You won a gold medal with your very first wine. I've been reminding my father about that ever since. We're drinking a Riesling um, that's made from grapes sourced elsewhere. Um, it, it's really quite refined. It's a classical Riesling. You, there's a lot of maturity gone into making a wine that's not typically Rutherglen. Well, have you ever had a wine moment, Stewie? <laughs> well, I guess I have. I'm having a bit of a moment at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, my very first wine moment came when I was presented with a 1997 Josmeyer Riesling from a particular vineyard called Hengst mm. and I had never ever seen a wine with that level of minerality with that intensity of flavor I just immediately fell in love in my Riesling today I'm trying to make that minerally style I'm probably going more to the Austrian style as opposed to the, the Alsatian no. style Australian <laughs> well it's an Australian Austrian style made by a Pfeiffer there you go very exciting <laughs> After spending 2005 in the Beaujolais region of France, Jen brought some of their winemaking techniques home with her. The Pfeiffer Gamay is similar to the lighter style reds from Beaujolais, and Jen even crushes the grapes in the traditional way, with her feet. Right, sort of soft stuff squelching between your toes. You've got a different kind of idea to romance uh, than I do. I'm a winemaker. OK, sweet. cool, cool, all right. At this point in time, the stalk's still on the, on the grapes? The, the stalk is still with the grapes, so why I like to keep the stalk in there, Gamay is naturally a, a light style of wine, and yep. so the stalk just adds a little bit more tannin and a little bit more structure. Wow. But the, the foot treading, as opposed to using machinery, yep. is also more gentle. Okay. So while you've got the extra tannin in there from the stalk, you're extracting it in a softer and a rounder way. Uh, I mean, it seems like a lot of effort to produce something that's, you know, just sort of knocked off in, in half an hour. Yes, but this is an icon wine for Fifers okay. because if you were ever going to sit on a bridge like this and enjoy a glass of wine, you'd really like it to be a Gamay. 